Hello, I am Professor Thomas and I'm going to uh, factor the quadratic expression uh, that you see on the board. Uh, I'm going to attempt to put it into two binomials first. It's possible that it might not factor. The little blank spaces in front of the x's are for coefficients. Uh, we determine the coefficients from looking at the coefficients of the squared term, which is 1 and 3, and the constant, which is 1 and 2. This is kind of a simple one because the, uh, uh, the two coefficients are uh, prime numbers. The next thing I'm going to decide is what kind of signs do we want. And they have to be plus and minus in order to produce the negative 2 at the end. Stick a 3 in front of the x and a 1 at the end. And a 2 uh, for the constants and a 1 for the coefficient of the other x. Uh, we've got these, of course, from looking at the factors that are setting there. The 1, 3 and the 1, 2 and uh, we concentrate on this to pr make sure that it produces the middle term. Um, do a little mental check here in a minute and we're worried about using the FOIL technique of course uh, which uh, is the multiplication scheme that we use to produce the middle term and the other terms of course. Uh, the middle term comes from one I've just illustrated uh, that should produce a uh, 3x and a, excuse me, a negative 3x and a positive 2x. And if you add those together, you get the negative x that is the middle term in the function. Okay, and there I'll show you where it's at. It goes right there. If that had been positive x, then we'd have the coefficients in the wrong place. Scroll down a little bit, give yourself some room. And we'll try a little bit of a check on the rest of the uh, quadratic uh, expression. 3x times 1x, of course, produces 3x squared. Uh, the middle term we've already checked, so he looks good. And then if we take uh, 2 times negative 1, we get the negative 2. And guess what? This thing looks pretty good. <laughs> 